All right, everybody, I am back with a brand new Star Wars update. And it's been a while, but after some big news dropped today, I figured I'd get my Star Wars update out there. And so we do have a few photos to look at. And uh, we're going to get started with uh, some stuff here. And uh, the big news will be the last thing I talk about because it's the last thing I grabbed. Uh, but that's going to be a lengthy discussion. But let's take a look at what I have grabbed since my last Star Wars update. First off, it looks like Dave Filoni's Star Wars movie is set to release in 2028. So that is roughly four years from now. And it would probably be the summer of that year, so more than like four and a half years. They do expect it to be called Heir to the Empire. And I think it is going to tie up all of the programs that have been on Disney Plus so far, obviously, except for uh, the one that takes place, obviously, before Star Wars. Uh, so uh, Andor is the only one that will not be a part of this, but all of the other ones are expected to be a part of Heir to the Empire. So it looks like Andor Season 2 is pretty much in the bag. Uh, Diego Luna came out, talked to Variety, and said he only has days left to shoot for Season 2. So he's just about done, and I believe it is going to end with Season 2, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember if they said there's going to be a Season 3, but I think Season 2 is going to be, uh, uh, every episode or two is going to be years, uh, going forward in years, if I'm not mistaken on this. Now, this is quite interesting. Uh, Christopher Nolan has been out and very vocal about movies recently, and he has stated he is going to continue to make some big blockbuster films. And Christopher Nolan shared some really good points about Star Wars. He slams Hollywood's willful denial of what made Star Wars a hit. And he is absolutely 100% correct. As long as Disney keeps going forward with their agendas, it is going to harm Star Wars. It's a fact. Until they get back to making the stories as good as they can, rather than pushing their agendas, they are going to continue to have issues. Now, this is some pretty crazy reporting here. It says Disney's upcoming Star Wars prequel completely breaks Lucas's vision. The Acolyte promises to be a completely different Star Wars show, but it might have strayed away from George Lucas's plans for the franchise. Now, what we know is that the Acolyte is an all-female driven production from the lead actors to the writers and directors. Again, it's one of Disney's agendas moving forward, and I don't think that's going to bode well for the show. I'm eager to see a trailer for it, but they keep pushing forward with their agendas rather than focusing on the stories themselves. And if they keep straying too far away from the original vision of Lucas, they are going to lose the fan base forever if they already haven't. All right, so here is the big news of the day and what prompted me to actually do the video and it says gina serrano is suing disney and lucasfilm for discrimination and wrongful termination she is seeking a court order that would force lucasfilm to recast her elon is elon musk is paying her legal bill because of his promise to support those who claim they have been discriminated on the platform of twitter that's what the rest of that said. And here's where I stand in regards to this. There is definitely a, a group of people inside the United States that are having their voices silenced and actually getting canceled because of their views. And Gina, she didn't do anything that would warrant getting fired for. And we all know it's because of her views. And so... I'm hoping that this goes through. I don't think Disney is going to want to work with her ever again, especially after suing them. But I hope she does get some uh, something out of this because she uh, she definitely got railroaded. And it's it's there's getting to be a faction in the U.S. that really wants to silence a whole half of this country. And it's time for people to start uh, fighting back. And I think this is going to be one big step in regards to that. So Elon Musk is also looking into possibly teaming with the person who holds the most Disney shares and teaming with him to basically buy Disney, you know, to buy 
to buy out Disney, basically, so that they can get control of it and take it from the people who have nothing but agendas going on. So we're going to see where this goes here in the future. And I'm always going to stand up for those people that are getting railroaded by government or people from a certain part of the country that want to silence the other 50%. Uh, it's, uh, I, I, it's just terrible when there's a certain group that says they're all about tolerance, but then they go after people that don't hold their same views. And it happens a lot, and it happens all over the place. And it, it's definitely happened on social media, and it's been happening for about the last five or six years. And things have to change. And if anybody can change it, it's going to be someone like Elon Musk who made it possible for people to have free speech on Twitter and people weren't getting silenced. Now, one thing that has changed on Twitter, which is interesting talking about Elon Musk, is the fact that when people post something false, they do have actual fact checkers putting in real information, not just telling you that it's false or silencing you because they don't agree with what you say. Real information is being provided, which I appreciate. I wish all the platforms were like that. All right, guys, so there's my Star Wars update for the day. I do appreciate all the support. If you like the video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and you will be notified as I have new videos go up.